Bully ear cropping, is it a barbaric practice or a simple need? Bully ear cropping, or any type of ear cropping, is a topic that divides supporters and opponents of the procedure. Some claim that it is necessary to remove these body parts for the dog's benefit, while others believe that Mother Nature has provided the dog with everything he needs and that doing so would be barbaric. The availability of this service varies by nation, and in some locales, providing it is prohibited. We'll get to that, though. Let's look at some data, pros, and cons before making a choice to understand the situation better. Bully ear cropping, what is it? It sounds harsh, and ear cropping is in some ways harsh. If we're talking about bulldog breeds, the majority of American bullies undergo this procedure. However, many other dog breeds, including pit bulls, cane corsos, rottweilers, boxers, schnauzers, staffordshire terriers, and great danes, can have their ears cropped. Since it is uncommon to see a doberman with floppy ears, it appears that it is a routine procedure for doberman pinchers. However, some Dobermans have ears that are not cropped. So, going back to our bully breed, we can say that cropping is a practice that breeders frequently employ for a number of reasons, which will be discussed in more detail in the following paragraphs. But it is clear that this procedure is not required. It entails physically cropping the ears to give them a more defined appearance. It entails surgically removing the floppy portion while the dog is asleep, of course, in order to make this process more humane. There are significant ethical quandaries surrounding ear cropping and individuals will take different positions. Here is more information to consider if you are still undecided about which side to support. Let's investigate the topic further. How frequently do you see bully ear cropping? Where you ask this question will determine the response. There is a slight possibility that you will see a bully with cropped ears if you ask this question in England or Wales. Why is that the case? The Animal Welfare Act of 2006 prohibits animal ear cropping in the UK, so that explains why. The same law prohibits docking one's tail. However, you won't get the same response if you ask this question in the United States. In America, ear cropping is practically a standard form of medical treatment for bullies. We can assert that it is a characteristic of the American bully that serves as a sort of brand for them. The American Kennel Club accepts dewclaw removal, tail docking, and ear cropping because they are sometimes even allowed by breed standards. They even highlight a few advantages that will be covered later. Overall, you will see far more dogs in America than, say, Europe with cropped ears. What makes bullies cut their ears? When you get a dog, your first thought is for his well-being. However, not every owner is like you or me. Some people use their dogs in illegal activities like dog fighting out of malice toward the animals. Because of this, we associate certain other dog characteristics with these negative behaviors. Some people avoid the cropping process because they associate it with bad behavior, which is one of the reasons why. But those who subject their dogs to it are aware of the advantages it offers, chief among which are fewer ear infections and improved performance. So let's explore the advantages of such a surgical procedure in more detail. It must contain something. What advantages do bully ear coppings offer? Every story has two sides, and this one is no different. Both proponents and opponents of the American bully breed's ear cropping are represented here. Let's examine the arguments in favor of cropping. Arguments for good looks, better hearing, and better health are included. To make the bully appear better. To be honest, bullies are already thought of as an aggressive or dangerous dog breed. Even though it doesn't seem necessary, some owners crop their animals to give them more intimidating looks. Though why? Making your dog look more intimidating and svelte is part of the motivation, but there are other factors at play as well. Bully dogs' ears are cropped to bring them closer to the breed standard. Consequently, a dog is better suited for conformation competitions. Just to make the bully feel better. Even the thought of taking your dog to the vet can be stressful, so many of us try to avoid it. So why not use it if there is a way to avoid some problems? Costs associated with medical procedures are a factor in addition to stress. 
Before getting an American bully, many dog owners are aware of the price, so they are already aware of some potential issues. One of them is the potential for infection-related complications. A puppy's ears are a delicate and easily injured area of their body. This is why some breeders of American bullies decide to use a strategy that has been proven effective in the fight against these issues. The problem is that floppy ears make the ideal habitat for bacteria, which prefer to spend their time in warm, dark environments where they can quickly spread and harm people. And an ear canal that is completely encased in the ear is the ideal location for such a way of life. A dog may occasionally come into contact with mites or ticks that can cause the dog to become seriously ill, but occasionally there is no way to treat the situation. Although we will explain it later, the American Veterinary Medical Association, AVMA, makes a different claim in their document. To improve the bully's hearing. There is a theory that claims American bullies' ear cropping improves their hearing, but there are opposing views on the subject. According to proponents of this theory, removing the pinna makes it easier for the dog to hear by opening up access to the hearing portion of the ear. Then, there is a counter-argument to this, where some claim that it makes no difference because these ears were created in a specific manner by evolutionary processes. They ought to stay exactly as they are because they are a gift from nature. Before making a decision, weigh all the advantages and disadvantages, regardless of your position. What consequences can bully ear cropping cause? There appear to be more arguments on the other side of the coin. Five logical results have been gathered. They consist of discomfort, bleeding, infections, betrayal, and procedure costs. Let's examine these claims. The troll is hurting. We refer to an invasive procedure that involves cutting soft tissue when we discuss ear cropping. In reality, we are severing a portion of the body. This area of the body is incredibly delicate and soft. The dog feels pain because it has numerous nerve endings. But today, anesthesia is used during those procedures, so the dog shouldn't experience any pain. Painkillers don't work forever. It stops working after a few hours, and the dog is now able to feel bodily sensations in that area. Even after the procedure is finished, the pain is still present. Although it is known that pain persists after surgery, it is unknown how severe it is or how long it lasts because dogs are unable to express their pain. The bully swells up. Human ears are not like a dog's ears. Our ears contain few blood vessels, so when we pierce them, little blood is lost. However, because their carotid arteries allow branches to the dog's ears, the floppy part of the ear is filled with tiny blood vessels. Mother Nature made it different for dogs. The blood that flows through this soft tissue keeps it warm. Thus, significant blood loss during the procedure is a possibility. But the bleeding doesn't stop there. It can go on even after everything has been done. So all in all, quite a bit of blood needs to be replaced. The bully is easily infected. You might inquire about this now since we previously stated that bully ear cropping should reduce the likelihood of infections. There is, however, a different school of thought on the subject that contends that crop dog ears are more susceptible to infections. Why is that the case? There is no longer a barrier separating the outside world from the inner ear, leaving the ear tunnel open to impacts from the outside. Bacteria can now enter more easily, but because the conditions are not as favorable as when the ears were covered by their floppy part, it is less likely that it will stay longer the bully might lose credibility. In terms of specific behaviors, bullies have a reputation for being an unpleasant dog breed. They occasionally exhibit intimidating behaviors like nipping and biting, as well as becoming aggressive. The reason may be due in part to their character, in part to their breed nature, and in part to some unpleasant situations they have gone through. Even though ear cropping is a rare occurrence, it can happen. The biggest factor contributing to the development of trauma in this situation is age. A young dog, a puppy, who has had his ears cropped will probably feel better quickly. However, there is a marginally increased risk that an adult dog who has had his ears cropped will grow suspicious of particular people. Anyone who has been present during the procedure or who touches his ears may cause him to become wary. He might even start to have misgivings about vets in general. 
Costly bully ear cropping. Bully ear cropping is a serious procedure that needs to be carried out under sterile conditions by a qualified surgeon, so you shouldn't attempt it yourself. However, the cost of ear cropping is comparable to that of other medical procedures. Between $150 and $600 will be required for this service. Contrary to food, which must be purchased on a regular basis, the American Bully Feeding Chart shows how much a bully can eat. Ear cropping should only be purchased once. However, because it deals with the amount of money you need for yearly food supplies, the procedure is quite pricey. When should a bully's ear be cropped? With cropped ears is a blue American Staffordshire Terrier puppy. The ideal moment is crucial if you opt for bully ear cropping. The dog shouldn't be too young, but you should do it when you're young. Given that he hasn't reached 12 weeks of age, the ideal time is older than 6 weeks. You can check out this American Bully growth chart. Why at this hour? Early intervention is crucial because the dog will have more time to forget the unpleasantness of the procedure and his injuries will heal more quickly. A young dog won't object as loudly as an older dog because he is still unaware of the procedure. By doing so, the situation will be better under control and there will be fewer complications in the future. Having bully ears cropped as an adult. Most veterinarians avoid doing this, so it will be difficult to convince yours to undergo the procedure. This is due to the fact that, barring extreme circumstances, cropping an adult dog's ears is thought to be an act of animal cruelty. The dog's life may only be saved by such an emergency for medical reasons. Styles for bully ear cropping In addition to choosing American bully hairstyles, there are a few other options. For instance, you can select American bully colors. A blue American bully can be found alongside other breeds like the blue fawn, brindle, red-nosed family, striped, and merle. Additionally, American bully cropping options are available. Even American bully mixes would look good in these styles. Let's examine the various cropping techniques that are available. Lengthy crop. The least popular style will be our first. It is uncommon to see an American bully with its ears cropped in this manner, and few owners prefer it. The ears are left long, as the name suggests. This indicates that more than half of the ear is still present even though only one-fourth of it was removed. It is known as the long crop for this reason. The display crop. For show purposes, a lot of dog breeders and owners choose to crop their dog's ears. But that is a myth that needs to be dispelled because participants are not required to go through it. The American Kennel Club expressed their viewpoint on the subject in writing, outlining what is required and what is not. Overall, many owners continue to favor cropped ears over uncropped ears. The Combat Crop The battle crop was created for dogfighting, for which it was given its name. Although it is now against the law, this pastime was a very well-liked pastime. The stakes in this gambling game were high, as were the stakes. In addition, owners of the battle dogs were attempting to make their dogs successful in as many ways as they could. To prevent the rival dog from catching them in a fight, they would crop their dog's ears extremely short, near the head. The Brief Crop This crop is the best because it combines the best qualities of the short and long varieties, and it is also the most suggested crop. It is a bit longer than the battle and a bit shorter than the performance. Care instructions for a bully puppy with cropped ears. Puppy Red Cane Corso with cropped ears. If you've decided to have your bully ears cropped, you should hire a professional to do it because doing so will reduce the likelihood of any problems later on. The recovery process will proceed if you follow all the instructions your veterinarian gives you. It's important to be there for your dog in those times when he might need a little bit more comfort. Read on to learn how to properly care for your dog's ears, remembering that hygiene comes first. Bully Ear Health and Hygiene Bullies come in a wide variety of varieties, but regardless of whether we're talking about the Johnson American Bully, the Exotic Bully, the Pocket Bully, or another variation, they all share a stubborn nature and occasionally show a lack of cooperation. Because of this, taking a shower can occasionally be a true adventure. You may need to be very patient and give this process some time. 
Bullies are notorious for being less than thrilled when it comes time to practice good hygiene, but it is necessary. In addition to having pleasant smells, bathing, trimming nails, brushing teeth, and cleaning ears have many other advantages. In order to increase the dog's likelihood of cooperating as an adult, a new owner should try to make it a habit to do these things frequently while the dog is still small. All of this is relevant to ear cleaning. Oral hygiene. The most crucial element is careful planning in order to make the process as simple and gentle as possible. This entails purchasing all the required cleaning supplies, such as mild enough ear cleaning products that can also disinfect the ear. You should perform light scrubbing occasionally in addition to routine cleaning with a cleaning solution. You should only do this once a month at most. Returning to the ear problem now. Apply it so that it completely fills the ear and extends all the way into the ear canal. Once you've finished, it's time for an enjoyable activity, an ear massage. After doing so for 30 seconds, drain the liquid. To remove the remaining liquid, try to make your dog tilt its head to one side, then the other. How long does it take for cropped ears to heal? The ears need to be secured to something solid for a while right after surgery. To get the ears to assume their upright shape, this is done. The entire aftercare procedure typically lasts four to eight weeks or between a month and two months. The bandages and sutures must be worn for at least seven days during the first stage of the procedure, but the entire procedure may take 14 days, two weeks. The dog must receive some sort of ear treatment for a further two weeks after the bandages are taken off. The dog's ears are attached to a solid surface during this time to assume their upright position. That is what gives these breeds of dogs their intimidating appearance. What makes natural ears different from cropped ears? Two brindle boxers, one with cropped ears and the other with regular ears. Cropped ears look sharp and are significantly smaller than uncropped ears, which is the first distinction and the one that is most obvious. With their ears cropped, many breeds that are regarded as dangerous or aggressive acquired even more intimidating appearances. Ear cropping is unquestionably one of the issues that should be taken into account when it comes to bully breeding. It is a practice with a lengthy history. It was done for a variety of very practical reasons, primarily to make hunting, working, and fighting easier. Conclusion The American Bully is widely regarded as the best dog, and many owners would not be far off in their assertion. The qualities of these dogs are incredible. Bully ear cropping is one of the many issues that have been raised about them, 